nice day today, not that hot or uh, cold. But uh, it's still gonna be cold tonight though. All right, I'm on second delivery, so not bad. This one is like an eight, nine dollar tip kind of. So it's pretty cool. Okay, we're heading back to the store. The lady was pretty nice. Actually, it was almost a ten dollar tip. It was not so bad for a second run. delivery uh, this one is almost a hundred dollar order so it's a pretty big order and I close to a ten dollar tip which is pretty awesome okay I have a double right now I'm on lunchtime I think on my fourth and fifth delivery this one is a fifteen dollar order but like a dollar something tip a two bucks tip this one looks like another $24 order and it's a $2 tip I think. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, the first dude, he, he lived like, I don't know. Dude, Papa John's just right there, that, that building right there and he lived right there. Delivery fee nowadays is almost $6 and I don't know why he wants to have it for delivered. And he can just simply walk here. How much is right there? Less than, I don't know, 200 feet, 100 feet. And save yourself five bucks. And buy some penny stocks. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm done with those two deliveries. Now I'm turning back to the store. Man, the first one, he's just like 50 feet away. But he's willing to pay for delivery fee. Delivery fee now is just like ridiculously expensive, man. It's like five, six bucks. I'm not sure. I think it's six dollars, but uh, last year it was five bucks. I wasn't surprised they raised it to six dollars due to inflation. And then the second house is not that bad either. It's pretty far away, but it's all good. So now I'm driving back to the store. So, uh... <laughs> okay, so now I'm on the last half. So this is the half, the shift left until like eight or seven p.m. or whatever. So this is my eighth and ninth delivery. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, both of these are like five, six bucks to each. So, it's pretty good. Alright, let's go. Sun is setting up. I mean, setting down, I mean. <laughs> setting up. Right now, it's like almost 4 p.m. Sending us towards that way. Setting down. Pretty cool. Going back to the store. Shit, caught behind me or something. Huh. Okay, so I don't know the double. Things my uh damn yeah, it's count already, like 10, 11 run for the day, which is pretty good. The sun is setting slowly.
Okay. Uh, now it's Sunday. First delivery, like a block away. Uh, this one in cash. So let's see how it goes. Okay, round two. <laughs> Second delivery. This one is a small one, so it's only a $19 order. Uh, mobile home order using PayPal with a $3 tip. Which is not so bad. People still use PayPal these days? No, just kidding. Man, the talk, the stock like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on back on my second run. Um, I just dropped it, the pizza off to the neighbor because apparently the guy is not home or something. It's an elderly guy. So the neighbor, you know, heard me knocking the door. The dog's barking very loud. The car's in the parking lot. For some reason, he wouldn't open the door or whatever. So to keep the story short, you know, these incidents could be very dangerous um, because I don't know if you heard the story enough. It's a thing of Domino's where this customer always order, you know, he always order the same food. Uh, on a regular basis, he's a regular. And then one day he decided not to order no more. And the staff was curious, like, hey, what happened to this guy, you know? So they, they decided to send one of the driver over or call him or whatever. Find out that the guy was dead. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So you'd be surprised, you know, like these incidents. But thank goodness uh, the neighbor opened the door. He's not home. So I just gave the, the, the pizza to the neighbor and the neighbor just put it in his counter. Uh, he's an LED guy, so stuff like this can happen, man. It's crazy. All right, see you guys next one. You know what's funny? My third delivery, this customer that I was delivered to right here, live in this mobile home, they never tip. All of a sudden, they tip four bucks. And I've been delivered to them for a while now. They are regular. Very interesting. Interesting. All right, fourth run. So this is a customer right here, is a regular. Uh, I delivered to him for quite a while also. And I never seen anybody open the door besides him. He lived in a nice big house. I don't know if he lived by himself or not, but uh, something like that. Okay, my fifth run, and then I can probably go on my break. This one's a $55 order in cash. He has a lot of sites, so let's see what we get. Let's go to his house. He needs a regular. Okay, looks like I'm on another double. I didn't have a time to take uh, a 30 minute break. It was so busy inside, so I was like, have a break violation again. So, yep. There's a double right here. It's pretty cool. Okay, I just got back from my 10th delivery. This guy is pretty cool. I told him the situation. He wants a wild cherry Pepsi. I bought him a regular Pepsi, the regular kind. And that's why what happened, like, hey man, we're out, you know, what can we do? We, have, we haven't had a shipment yet. So he's like, it's okay, some soda's better than no soda. In fact, he gave me 10 bucks, thank you, man. And then yesterday, uh, during my one of my late shift, around, I don't know, 7 p.m., I got a, a lady orders, also order a wild cherry Pepsi, and I bought her a Pepsi, and she was bitching. And I'm like, oh, lady, I, what, what can I do? You know, we're out, so she like, I'm gonna call a general manager. I'm like, okay, go ahead and call him. <laughs> and, he, and she did, she called him. It's kind of funny. But anyway, she's just being a Karen. So, man, dealing with a customer like that is tough business. All right, so now I'm taking a break on my 30 minute lunch break. You're waiting, what are you gonna call it? It's just another way for the company to cut down labor. If you work more than six hours, you need to take a 30 minute break. If you don't, you get a break violation. Apparently, I just broke the break violation because we are short of drivers. So yeah, so now I have 30 minutes to kill. So let's check out the pre-market and see what happened today. Oh, what the hell? Okay, back on the clock, nine and 10th delivery. Man, it's busy inside. So I just got back from my break. So I have two more orders to go right now. 
bow for five dollar tips. Pretty cool. All right, let's get to it. Okay, right now I'm on a triple. Um, we are slamming inside right now, like you know, peak hours. It is 5:20, uh, around 5:20 dinner time, and one driver did not show up yet. No one driver went home early. They're not doing well, so we are short in staff again. <laughs> Yeah, this short labor, uh, labor shortage is real. Okay, so I'm on a, another triple. Man, we're slam inside. But uh, yeah, so let's see how this one goes. I just created it um, when I clock out I print out a summary what I did in that summary it tell me all the delivery I took all the tips and stuff like that unfortunately I cannot post it here on YouTube or any other platform because it is confidential it has the customer address and phone number so you have to take my word for it so on the eighth right here I did took 16 deliveries and I did work eight eight point two hours so in this estimate calculating I don't count overtime just a regular wage in California, minimum wage right now is $15 an hour. So 15 multiply this number, give me this number. Of course, the tip. The tip is either in credit card or in cash or both. So I added it all up, I made 105 that day. So this number, add this number, give me this number. And then I just throw it in for fun. I divide by this number, give me this number per hour average. And then I add these two number up, give me this number. Now this isn't including taxes and stuff like that, it's just a straightforward number. So the goal is I want to deposit at least $1,200 from the learning pizza per month into this stock account, which I'm going to call it, I don't know, minimum wage investor account we call it, because I think anyone can do this, it just matter of putting the work. The side story, I've been delivering pizza for a very long time before I was even an engineer. So, and I still delivered pizza when I was an engineer. It's kind of funny, right? The precise story. Funny part was I delivered pizza to uh, my colleague at work for my engineering job. And he was like, what the hell? Why are you delivering pizza? And I just go, well, why not, right? It's fun to drive around town. It's just something to do for fun. And I enjoy doing it. That's, that's the most important, most important part about side hustle. You have to enjoy what you're doing or else you'd be terrible at your job, right? <laughs> so... I really want to make this video or, or make it uh, for, uh, I would say, document this for a very long time. I just didn't, I didn't do it. Now I want to do it for 2022. So if I keep this up right, by the end of the year, I should be able to come up with 14400 minimum. That's the goal. But we will see based on these numbers. I will document as time goes along, you know. So here is a quick Dave Ramsey a compound interest calculator and see what the number give me. Now if I keep going like this for an entire year with a minimum return of 10% based on S&P, I should be able to get 15K. But then again, uh, I, don't, I want more than 10%, right? So let's go 20% minimum. See what we get. Okay, so now we're getting near 16K. Of course, my record say, showed me that I, I normally get around 30% return for the past five years already because I've only been in the market uh, since 2014, but my real money in the market is only 15. So just, but then again, my average, I'm like I said, around 30%. Let's just keep 30. So the goal is to get 16 and a half from minimum 14 and a half. So that's 2K of, of return on average. We was, I would see, of course, I'm going to document everything and see how far this account can go. It's just something fun for me to do. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just haven't had a chance to do it. But now, I want to do for this year. So let's say this is only two days a week, right? For one year. Now let's say you want to do this for uh, 10 years. Don't make it five years. See how fast this thing can grow. As you can see, it grows pretty quickly, especially with a 30% return. Well, let's, let's make it more realistic for most people. 20% instead of 30. Now, if you know option trading, collecting premium and stuff like that, I think 20% return is very doable. If you have some knowledge of the stock market and know how it works, you know, you buy on retracement, you don't buy during the run-up, right? So on and so on. 
So with a minimum 20% return for five consecutive years. Now remember, this is only Saturday and Sunday, two days a week. And you can call this wherever account you want, my early retirement account or my retirement account, whatever. It grows to 100K. Now now we're talking about real number here, right? A six-figure number. Now we decided to do this for 10 consecutive years. Just 20% return annually. You get half, almost half a million dollars. You can see where the number is going pretty rapidly, right? Because compound. So that's the whole point of this video is to show you, show people that also myself that it is possible to retire early, right? If you have a goal and have a plan. Remember, it doesn't matter how much money you make. What matters is what you do with it, right? When I was an engineer and making, you know, good money, I surround myself making people making six figures or even seven figure, my manager and stuff like that. The funny part was some of them cannot even max out the Roth IRA or the 401k. Max out Roth IRA is only 6,000. 401k is only 18,000. That's like what, 26, 25,000? And they can't even do that. And these people are making six figures. It's kind of funny. Here I am showing you guys a piece of boy, right? Minimum wage can deposit 1,200. There should be no excuse that you should retire as a millionaire. In fact, a multi-millionaire. So this, is, this episode is about the slow and steady progress of how to build wealth slowly by utilizing the stock market, investing slash trading. All right, see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>